guys, I wanted to film my, what are we in, March favorites? I can't believe we're already into April. Thought I would actually get this on time for one since I'm always late. I have in my little poof some favorites that I've had from the last month. A couple of these are associated with the fact that I had <laughs> A chemical peel gone wrong, you could say. It was the third time that I did it. I've done the same one three times. Never had this happen before. But I think she burned me, possibly. I think she left it on for too long and my chin kind of got it the worst. So, long story short, lesson learned. Don't go to a non-medical spa to have these things done. This is the last time that I will be getting any kind of thing other than a normal facial done at places like that. Anyway, a lot of the products that I have to show you are associated with all of that happening. The first thing has been coconut oil, and I just keep this little container under my sink. I have a big jar of it downstairs, and I just kind of refill it as I go. This was amazing for a couple different things. I really didn't wear makeup through the process of having this peel done because my skin was drying and peeling off, which is exactly what should have happened. So I just kind of kept this lathered on my face and it really helped to hydrate my skin. And then on the days and nights, the couple days and nights that I did decide to wear makeup, I use this as my makeup remover. It works wonders and it's also really great for dry cuticles and hands. You can put them on, like slather your hands and feet and then put socks or mittens on for a really good intense treatment. But this has been so great on my face and I haven't had any kind of breakouts associated with using this, which is great. Another great product that I've been counting on to keep my skin really hydrated is Josie Maron's Pure Argon Milk. I think I mentioned this in a couple videos back. I got it, just wanted to try it and see how I liked it, and I absolutely love it. Love the packaging too, it's really pretty. This is a really nice step to do before your moisturizer. It's just an extra boost of hydration. It's a lot more of a kind of gel-like consistency than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be that of a milk, but it does kind of feel like an oil slash milk slash gel. It's really cool and I really, really have been enjoying this. I've been desperately in need of some more rosehip oil because I recently ran out and the brand that I was using usually would get on Amazon but they stopped selling it. So my friend Erin of The Grass Skirt, who is my beauty go guru go-to for all things green and natural, recommended this Aurora Cassia, Cassia brand and I found this at Wegmans. And this is rosehip oil, and I love it because, because it comes in a pump. The other one that I had was a dropper, so I'd have to kind of measure out, you know, three or four drops, but this is just one pump, and I've been using it morning and night all over my face, but especially concentrating on my chin area. I know how well it works to lighten scars because I've seen the results, and it also is amazing for diminishing lines, especially lines that are really prominent, like your marionette lines, your smile lines, forehead and crow's feet. I've had so many comments and emails recently asking if I've had lip injections, if I've had fillers done here. I have not done any of that. I really attribute it to the rosehip oil because ever since I've been using this, I have noticed a dramatic difference. And then finally for skin, this I picked up from a salon by my house. It's by the Clarity RX line and it's their Skin Defense SPF 30. I've been using the Tarte Guard for a really long time, but I actually prefer this one. The scent isn't as much of a sunscreen scent, you know what I'm talking about, and it really feels more like a lotion versus a sunscreen. So this has been my morning go-to. I do cleanse my face, I do the rosehip oil, and then I do this, and then a moisturizer. Sometimes I only use this. But this is an amazing SPF if you guys are wanting um, I like a good, more natural, safe SPF. I love the Kula one and like I said, Tarte Guard, but so far this has been my favorite. And then some makeup bits. So because I have that kind of hyperpigmentation or whatever's going on in my chin, these two babies together have been deadly in masking them. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics in the medium shade. This is amazing and really all I need, but for an extra added step if I really want to cover and make my skin look perfectly flawless, the Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo. I think I did a Get Ready With Me in a First Impressions video. I'll put the links to those below. But this, again, is a whole makeup line designed for people with scarring, burns, hyperpigmentation, things like that. So I'm so glad that I have this in my collection because it's really been great. So this is in the shade Sepia. I also have Chestnut, which is a little bit too dark for me right now. This is a perfect match. But I apply both of these with my finger and I find that that puts on the best amount of coverage. And I'd highly recommend these if you guys are looking for a really flawless full coverage 
face. And neither of these have SPF, which is great for photography. This is a makeup brush from Real Techniques, and it's a really pretty silver sleek packaging, but it's exactly like a MAC 217. I love this just for putting in the crease. I've been using just bronzer in my crease recently, and it's perfect. And it's kind of got like a flat belly too if you wanted to pat shadow just on the lid. It's a 203 brush. Really nice, good quality brush. I have a lot of Real Technique brushes, and this is one of their platinum metal collection brushes and the quality of the brush is great. The new lashes, I finally found the Demi Wispies from Ardell. It's so funny, ever since I've been on YouTube, these are the one eyelash that I constantly hear people talk about and I've always had the hardest time finding them. But I recently found them in this value pack and what I've been doing is actually cutting them in half and just putting them on the outer part of my eye. And I'm wearing them in this video so you can kind of see they're not really dramatic, they're definitely more wispy and they look really natural and I find applying them as a half lash is way more easy than applying a full lash. You don't have to worry about them irritating the inner eye like I sometimes find and I just, I just like the effect that it gives your eye. It's just a really full, bold, makes your eyes pop. And so yeah, those are the Demi Wispies by Ardell, and I think I found this at Target. And the last makeup brush, makeup product that I have is a blush from Marc Jacobs in the shade Reckless. This has been my go-to blush as of late. It's just a beautiful, mauve dusty pink. It's kind of a really nice transition color for right now going into spring. Also works as a really great fall color. It kind of has like purpley undertones, so it leans on the more brown side. But it's really, really pretty. It's a good, all-natural, I think, universally flattering blush shade for everyone. And then the last thing I wanted to just include this top. I know you guys love when I throw in kind of like fashion bits. So this I recently picked up at Nordstrom, and it's such a basic, but it's so comfortable. Very breathable. I have it in gray. It also comes in, I think, three or four other colors. Little pocket. Let me see. I don't remember what size I got. Let me just see here. See here. It is an extra small, but obviously, as you can see, it fits a little bit oversized. And I just noticed on this tag, it's dry clean only. So that is something to note. I don't know the material that it's made up of, but it's definitely, I want to say it's like viscose or rayon. It's just really light and loose and kind of like a tissue tee. I just really like it. For every day, you can dress it up with like, I just have a long pendant. You can do a statement. You can put it underneath a blazer. It's just a really nice. Good basic and I think a good quality, like just a nice quality, good tea. So that's everything I wanted to share with you, my latest loves and finds from March. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye. This looks like it's gonna be the best one yet. I feel like I say that every time, but really this one seems jam-packed with good stuff. And look at the outside packaging. Like how cute is that? So this is how it came.